Hello, everyone. Today we have a very, very, very special guest in our channel. This is a different video. I'm not going to talk about tips and ideas or whatever you go through when you're moving abroad. We have Amy Krushauser. Did I pronounce your name right? Close no. enough. It's Kraus Har. But no one, can say, no one can say it. So it's okay. Funny. It's like me, Deborah Dahab. No one says that. Right. So we have that uh, another thing in common. Um, Amy is here to share a little bit about her story. Um, I've been uh, working in collaboration with Amy for maybe three or four years. I don't know. It I was pre pandemic right. for sure. Yeah. Um, and it has always been a joy. And I love having people that um, that I like the company of and I like to talk to. So and I think it's going to be good for everyone who is preparing to move abroad uh, to listen in. So, Amy, let's start with a question. Uh -oh. <laughs> that is something that I like to <laughs> I like to ask just kind of like to for us to get to know you a little bit better. So tell us, tell me and tell everyone who's watching something about you that no one knows. Oh, oh okay. So um, so I don't think, I, people know parts of this, but not all of this. So before I started Expacity, um, I actually had five other businesses that I tried to start in Portugal that were quite crazy. Um, my favorite one that didn't go anywhere was I wanted to import those little anti-slip stickers that you put on the bottom of your shoes because you yeah. couldn't buy those in Portugal at the time. So, and then I had a bunch of other things and um, they all failed miserably. So, <laughs> so um, I just kept working at it until I figured out something that I like to do and that worked. So, that, yeah. That's interesting. Well, Thomas Edison, I think he said that there's no such thing as failure. It's just a, a step closer to success. So Exactly, exactly. So there you are and you're very successful indeed. Yeah, yeah. I thank you. I, you know what? It's so all, it's that all note, about everyone else. Mentioned expacity and <laughs> it's um and you you already mentioned expacity and you already mentioned portugal so share a little bit about your story being um a foreigner um you know how long you've been a foreigner just walk us through your your experience because that could be helpful for other people okay so i like to call myself an immigrant um because i feel like one and probably because i now have my portuguese nationality so i i feel like i've sort of done the whole cycle but um, yeah, it's it's quite a weird story. I've been here almost 22, 22 years. Um, I came here ages ago for the first time on vacation with uh, my American husband. And at the time, I loved reading travel narratives. And I always liked reading about places that I dreamed of going. I had this real wanderlust. And then I would choose places to go that there was no travel book on the shelf about. That was sort of my, my barometer. So I said, mm, there's no books about Portugal. So Portugal, Europe, whatever. So we came here, I think it was in the mid, early to mid nineties. There was, it was completely different. No one spoke English. It was pre-internet. Yeah. You had to make your hotel reservations with fax. Um, we drove all over. We met people who said that they were, we were the first Americans they'd ever met. Um, wow. and yeah, it was really, really different. And, um, I loved it. I fell in love with Portugal because it was quirky. Um, I like to say it was crumbly, but beautiful. Um, and it just was really captivating. I just said there was something in it. And then years and years later, when I was getting divorced, I said, I'm just going to go back and see if it's as cool as I remember it. I'm going to buy a little apartment and I'm going to just move there or I'm going to move there part-time. I had no, I did no homework. I did. And on that trip, I met a Portuguese man and I fell in love. And then I came over to Portugal and there were no visas. And there were, it was completely crazy and different. We got married. I ended up here. I got my Portuguese nationality and I'm never going back to the States. So, but if you would have asked me years and years earlier that a small town girl from Iowa would end up in Portugal, Call me crazy. <laughs> completely crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting how, how our lives take these turns, isn't it? It's 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 Always. interesting. It's interesting. That's a great story. A little bit of everything, of adventure, of love. <laughs> it could be a movie. <laughs> ignorance, a lot of ignorance. <laughs> well, 
we don't know and we don't know what we don't know, right? Exactly. There exactly. you go. That that's why we're here actually to help people <laughs> with with what we we a little bit more like avail a little bit of the curtain of what we've gathered throughout our lives to help people in that process. Exactly. So, um with your personal experience and with your company today that I would like you to tell us more about its capacity, what tips and advice would you give someone who is just starting their international relocation journey? Okay. So, so there's three, three main things, I guess that I would think of, um, the first one is, and it's kind of related to my business, but I just think it's don't do what I did, do do what I say, do your homework. Um, moving country is really complex. It sounds really romantic, and it and it is um, really great. Don't get me wrong, but there's as you said, there's so much that you don't know what you don't know, um, and so it's like you kind of got to put in the hard work to do the homework. Um, and sometimes it's not really very fun, but um, it's really important, I think, to do that. And um, social media is not the best place to find those things. Um, so it's really about, again, doing doing the hard work that it takes, um, digging in and learning and that sort of thing. Um, the second thing I would say is if you need to like write it and wax crayon on your bathroom mirror as you're like doing all your paperwork and stuff, and that is, um, your mantra is, it's just different. Um, and you need to internalize that because when you get over here full time or over to wherever you're going, um, that phrase needs to be like top of mind because you're going to encounter all these things that you're like, what? This makes no sense. And you need to go, it's just different. It's just different. So that is something you really need to sort of embed in your brain. And then the last thing I would say, um, and this is actually a nice thing, is that you need to keep in mind that um, in, in Portugal, for sure, I can't speak to other countries, but no matter how much you think or you want to be a, a local, you will always be a foreigner. Um, you can be fluent in Portuguese. You can, even though I'm a Portuguese citizen, I'm not fluent in Portuguese, but I will always be a foreigner. I'll always be seen as a foreigner. I'll be, be that's not a bad thing. It just is. And mm -hmm. so I think that that's, it's not a failure if you are not seen as that or you don't, you know, blend in. So mm -hmm. I think it's really important just to have that um, in mind. Mm -hmm. that's, that's interesting you say that because you were you're, you're explaining that. And it, Kate, what came to my mind is like bottom line manager expectations. <laughs> yes, yes. That's a, right. It's, it's hard like, to do when you don't know what those expectations are. Yeah, yeah. And it's but, like, like keeping in check. You know, keeping and and we talk about this a lot in the channel and in the courses and etc. It's like, what are my biases? We all have biases. We all have different perceptions. You know, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, um, tall, short. Um, all of these are relatives. All of these. Uh, there's no absolute. Like when people's like, oh, is it cold there? How difficult is it to learn the language? Like guys, there's no cookie cutter answer to that it's up to you what is right so it's like a lot of what you're saying I think has to do with you know managing your expectations and uh, keeping yourself in check or else you can really go down a, a rabbit hole there <laughs> yeah and and um, and I think you're, what you're saying is really important because when you get here you're going to go through all the normal things that everyone goes through when you move to any different country everything is going to be baffling. You're going to come to those days where you're just like, you're going, this is impossible. I know. And, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> I remember Sometimes those it isn't, days. No. I, I remember some days. Oof. Uh, yeah. Oh, and, and you know what? And I've been here for almost 10 years, the second time round, and there are still days where like, I have to take like, and I'm, and I'm an expert coach. Okay. So I know, I know what to do. I know how to do it. <laughs> and still, sometimes you got to go like, um, yeah. <laughs> you go, it's just different. It's, you know, let's, oh, okay. doesn't make sense it's, to me, but it's so it, 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 because we're human above anything. Right. And yeah. we're, we're in a human condition in a different place. It's, 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 it's normal and accepting it and dealing with it and knowing what to do. That's the key to, 
to not getting sucked in. So share with me and with everyone who's watching, please, how do you help people? What, you know, how did you get to where you are right now in terms of your, was it a fifth company? (laughs) I guess fifth or something, something like that. Um, So what I learned along all those other companies that what I am an expert in is living in Portugal. Um, After 22 years or so here, I'm, I still don't have it down, um, but um, I'm always learning new stuff every day. But basically I figured, okay, I'm, I'm an expert on living in Portugal. I've met all these incredible people. How can I help other people that are moving here? Because I've studied the data of all the people moving here and it's like they're, people keep coming. So I wanna be part of helping them have it easier than I did. Um, and that's really, I think, a key component of both you and I, Deborah. And it's like, I, I do really, really, truly wanna help people um, have a smoother transition. And so what we, what I decided I could do um, is I took all of those connections that I'd made, and I'm a really good connector person. Um, it's just always been one of my strengths. And so I created Expacity, which is, the easiest way to explain it is it's like a Netflix of videos about moving to Portugal, settling into Portugal, all the different facets that you need and want to know about moving and settling into Portugal. But the key difference is, all those videos are done by professionals. So they're done by experts like accountants and lawyers, people like you, expat coach, you've done quite a number for us. Um, and, and each of those videos is about an hour long, including Q and A from the live audience of the members. And so they're really rich, they're really detailed. And one of the things I know as an ex journalist and a marketer is when you read an article, basically the writer is writing what someone told them to write in the key mm-hmm. points. Um, when you have the actual person talking who knows and does this stuff in day in and day out, they can talk about the nuances and the unique situations and the how to's and the why and the backstory of all those different things. So that's something I wanted to be able to do. And for the experts, it's the kind of conversation they have with every new potential client every day in terms of trying to educate them. So this way I figured, okay, we can help both sides because we can have that expert give the information that they want people to know that they want to help them know. Um, And then we can give that information to the people that want to know it because my goal is to help people become informed. And when they're informed to become independent, they can make better decisions. I know I can. Um, And, and then also my little, aspirational thing is that they can become inspired and intrepid because the more that you come here and you're more confident and you feel like I kind of got this stuff, you know, your expectations are sort of aligned and you got information behind you, you can then um, feel like, okay, cool. I kind of got this. I kind of know what to expect. I kind of can do this. And you're less afraid you're less anxious Mm -hmm. Um, you're still going to feel a little bit of that but you're going to feel a lot more confident about jumping in and doing all the things that you need to do and to feel like you you know fit into your new life here so that's what i created and it's a membership thing um because it's technology based and i bootstrap it myself um so i've paid for everything up front um, there's three different membership tiers because some people, they just want access to all the videos in the library they work. They're like too busy to join live. Then there's a middle tier called community membership and they join, they get access to everything live. So they're the ones who can ask all the questions and they love it that they can have like sort of personal relationships mm-hmm. with the experts. And then there's the VIP and those people get um, extra time with me. Um, where I can kind of introduce them to other people that maybe I haven't had time to do webinars with, or I can help them sort of select a a special team. Mm -hmm. Um, There's just some people that really prefer some one-on-one. I just want to make clear that I'm, I don't, I don't get visas. I don't do any of those sorts (laughs) of things, but all the people that are in the library do that. And you can, um, if you join, you can have direct connection to all of those experts, because that's also we d- we deliver. including me, <laughs> including Deborah, and, including and it's me. not just a it's not just an email thing. We actually directly connect members. To it's you. true, uh, yes, because I have been. <laughs> yeah, I'm and on the so other side. Yeah, you're on the other side. So it's like you, we cut through sort of the email box clutter yeah. and the middleman, and yeah. we try to make that a shorter connection. Yeah, absolutely, and also um, we have a special partnership. 
um, a special, well, I don't like to say deal because it sounds. No, uh, it's, a, it's a, I mean, we have to call a spade a spade. It is. Yeah. A, okay. It's a, bonus. It's a special it's a bonus. It's a, it's a special bonus. There you go. That's a yeah. great word. Where all Expacity members, regardless of what membership they belong to, they have 10% off my Master Your Move program, which is a six month program. Um, so this is the only partnership where I give discounts on this program, the only one. We have a lot of members who've done it because I know because they, they rave about you because they really, and, and I think even though we have like, I think we said five webinars or so by you on the library, it's, it's all unique and different information, but the Master Your Move course is really special um, and it's really detailed and people have said it's, I mean, our members have said it's really yeah. valuable. Well, it's thank really you. Tell uh, that's great yeah. to hear. And I think it's the best combination. And once, once I said, um, I said this to you in a different context was like expacity and, and, um, expat coaching and my expat coaching are like the different parts of a perfect sandwich. So I give in the structure of how to do things internally, how to research and expacity is the filling. <laughs> yeah. We have all of that stuff that's there at your fingertips. And, and also, and I, I, I hope it's okay to mention this because we do this give back once a month because I get it's my business. I get to do whatever I want. And um, so every month we do a free webinar that's one of the experts that's in the library. So it's not fluff, it's real valuable information and it's for anyone. Um, it's, you just have to register so that we can send you the link and you can join live. There's usually several hundred people there. So it's not a small little group, it's a big group, but um, it's just something really important that I feel like, um, you know, it, we would like to give valuable information that is broadly useful for everyone. So like how to rent for the first time or, healthcare, that sort of a thing. Um, and then when you get into the library, you get like much deeper dives mm -hmm. into all the detail and the rich information that you want. Got it. Got it. So if you are interested in getting into one of Expacity's free webinars, I will leave on the description box all the, the link to the Expacity webinar um, link. So you can go there and register and you'll receive an invite for the next one right amy is that exactly correct? right okay yep you can just great. go to the website but yeah you can look down below and see okay. that so yeah great so thank you so much it was such a pleasure to finally Likewise. have you here <laughs> Likewise. and thank so you, you so can much. be on my on my platform now <laughs> yay yeah i don't know it's like it's, it's weird doing hundreds of <laughs> webinars but um yeah i've gotten over my stage right for sure so and uh, guys, guys and gals, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can contact Amy directly. I will leave all her contact info in the description box, or you can comment here and we'll get back to you, uh, whatever is easier for any of you. And I hope this was valuable. I hope this was useful. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yay. Thanks, Deborah. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone.